<clears throat> the Lord said to Mary Magdalene, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Mary Magdalene. We offer this Mass for the special intentions of Floyd McCrory. And we ask God for his pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask for Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. <clears throat> the bread says, On my bed at night I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you. O oh Lord, my God. O oh God, yeah, my God, whom I seek. For you, my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you, you O oh Lord, Lord, my God. God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than the life, than life, my lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. First will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord my God. You are my harp, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, your right hand upholds me. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia. 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 May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, 
Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. She ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, the, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in reply, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to his disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we read the stories in the Gospels of the encounters of Jesus and Mary Magdalene, uh, you, it truly reads like a genuinely a love story. But the reality is that uh, that's the Christian life. Uh, I often say that uh, the heart of Christianity is a relationship, because it is. And, uh, but it's really a love affair. It's a God who's madly in love with us, who so loved the world that he gave his only son, that he suffered and died on the cross, and he, he sacrificed everything. It's the kind of thing that when people truly, genuinely love or in love, they do. They do extreme things. You know, people have, we've all known people who maybe said, you know, they, they fell in love and they, you know, blew their savings or bought a great gift that they couldn't afford or did something crazy. And you thought, what is wrong with you? And they're like, I'm in love. And you think, oh, goodness, you know, that... Uh, but somehow there's a, something about love that just goes to the extreme. It says, how can I demonstrate? I mean, someone's, you know, love makes sacrifice easy. Matter of fact, it makes it desirable. It's like, uh, you know, what can I do for you? How can I demonstrate to you? Uh, you know, is there anything? I'll do anything, whatever you need. It's like, you know, oftentimes sacrifice is like a dirty word. It's like, do I have to do this? That's hard. That's easy. It's not the language of love at all. When someone is genuinely falling in love, they're not saying, oh, well, this is going to be hard. I don't know if I can do it for you. It's like, for you? Oh, for you, I can do it. For you, I will do it. I want to do it. And oftentimes, the person who is the object of your love may be saying, oh, no, 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 that's not necessary. You don't have to go that far. And you're like, but I want to. I'm happy to. It's not a problem. When I was a kid, there was a song by Neil Diamond. And uh, I'd hear it, and I thought, what a dumb song. I didn't get it. It said that the refrain of the... The main line of the song was, uh, he ain't heavy, he's my brother. And I remember thinking, what does weight have to do with relationship? And of course, I got a little smarter as I got older and realized, oh, he's saying, whatever the burden, this is not a burden because this is my brother. I love my brother. It's not heavy at all. I can remember when my mother was, uh, turns out to be dying in the hospital and uh, in Georgetown uh, University Hospital. I was assigned to Southern Maryland, which is 90 minutes out of D.C., you know, just to get to the line, D.C. line, to go to Georgetown, like at rush hour, you know, it was a minimum of a two-hour drive. Uh, and to go at a time when I could go, it was rush hour, and I mean traffic, and, uh, and I'd do it any time. It was not a burden. It wasn't a hardship. I literally could not imagine not making the trip because it was difficult. It was, it was nothing. It was my mother. 
and to be at her side, it didn't matter what, what sacrifices, because that's the way love is. That was the love described in the Song of Songs today. And the bride who said, you know, on my bed at night I saw him whom my heart loves. I saw him but couldn't find him. That was the, the agony of love that I can't reach him. I must search him. I will rise and go about the city. I'll go wherever I need to go. I'll go across the city. I'll drive through rush hour. It's okay. I hardly left him. When I found him whom my heart loves, oh, I rejoice. <clears throat> St. Augustine said, Our heart, Lord, our hearts, you have made us for yourself. Our hearts are restless, so they rest in you. He has made us for himself. And he sent his son uh, to make it possible for us to have the relationship that our hearts long for. And as we celebrate Mary Magdalene today, let us uh, allow her example to continue to inspire us and ask for the grace, the greatest grace of all, the grace to fall in love with the Savior who is in love with us. Let us bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit, spreading the good news of God's enduring love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah, prayer. We pray for peace in our world and end the discouragement of violence and war, poverty and injustice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah. We continue to pray for deliverance from this COVID-19 pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our sisters and brothers lacking the basic necessities of life, like food and shelter, employment, health care, friends and family to support them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those uh, whose hearts longing for the love of God, who long for the peace that the world cannot give, that they, God, may grant them the grace to fall in love with him, that they may truly know the joy for which their hearts long. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the shut-in, those in hospitals and nursing homes, those for whom we promise to pray, and those who need our prayers the most. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers. We ask them with confidence, but we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which shall become for us our spiritual drink. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all peace for the church. Accept, O oh Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer in us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so the angels and archangels with thrones with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, for the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs for eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Through your mercy keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The love of Christ impels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised. Let us pray. Lord, may the holy reception of your mysteries instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung re resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down, love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the 